Hi, it's John from Avery, and we're going to take a look today at how to do a mail merge using the Avery Wizard. We have Word open here, and we're going to take a look at Wizard by clicking on the icon, and you can see the splash screen for Wizard. I want to remind everybody to use only Avery brand products for guaranteed results. We're going to click Next, and this brings us into a pretty extensive list of products which you can narrow down by using the product category pull down menu or you can type in a product number in this case we're doing a mailing label that's 5160 you find that number on the product packaging search we have a few choices here we're going to choose easy peel mailing labels fill down and we're going to hit next you can see a few designs here to choose from uh, I'm going to choose a blank today we're not going to need any graphics in this one, and I'm going to insert my own text. Click Next. Here we have four choices for how we want to put data onto these labels. We're going to be merging from a database, an Excel file with a mailing list. We could create a sheet of identical layouts, though. That would be something like a return address label, or we could type different entries into a sheet. So we might have different addresses that we want to manually type in. We can merge data from an existing data file, which is what we're going to do. Or we can actually create a new data file, and Wizard will help us do that if we want to do that. So I'm going to click Merge Data from an existing data file. Next. There's a couple of recent choices I've made with, with databases, um, but I'm going to go ahead and browse to demonstrate how that's done. I've got a folder called Mailings in my Documents folder. I'm going to pick Mailing List Main. I click Open. And I'm going to click Next. I'm going to confirm this table. And now we're in the actual wizard design window in which we can format text, we could add a graphic if we wanted to. In this case, we're just going to flow in the, the data fields that are being accessed from that Excel file. And on the right here, we have a list of the fields that we can add to this label. I'm going to add first name and last name. I'm going to hit return. And you can notice that the selections update and move down as we go. So I'm going to add street, and I'm going to hit return again. City, state, zip. Couldn't get much easier than that, could it? Now I'm going to uh, select the text here, and I'm going to change the style to uh, times. And I'm going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to go to 11 points. And I'm going to change the color. I'm going to make it a dark blue. So we can do a few other things here. One of them is we can actually look at the data that is being drawn in from that database. You click on this database toggle and you can actually see the first record from the database. And that confirms that you're actually working with your database here, that you haven't missed anything. And I'm going to hit Next we're almost finished here actually. What we're going to do now is take a look at the print preview of the mail merge and what's nice about this is if something's wrong with the labels, if maybe the text is too large or something's wrong that you need to fix, you could come back from the print preview and hit back and make those changes and then come back and confirm again. We're going to hit print preview and it will take a moment here for the program to build these labels And you see our dark blue mailing labels. You can actually zoom in, zoom out. And they look pretty good. So I'm going to hit close, which will take us right back to the finishing window. And I'm going to click finish. If I, if I needed to go back and change anything, I could hit back. But I'm going to click finish. And we're done.